-hmm. Now, intervertebral disc disease, it's a very long term. And as I say, people use the term IVDD. Mm -hmm. And I've noticed when owners come and see me, there is a bit of a confusion about IVDD and what actually is it. Mm -hmm. But quite simply, the way I think about it, I mean, replace those letters IVDD, intervertebral disc disease, for slip disc. You know, now it may not be very accurate, and I suppose you'll get people, there may even be people listening now going, it's not really a slip disc, but I think that's the way that we can all understand it much better, to think about if your dog has an intervertebral disc problem, then it's it's going to be a slip disc. Um, and discs, well, they can, the way I like to think about discs, I think of them a bit like um, jam donuts. <laughs> so you've got um, all of these donuts sit along the spine, and they act as cushions, if you like. So... In a really young dog, and by that I mean a dog less than two, these discs act, act as shock absorbers. And it's the same people, you know, in children, they work really, really well. Now, the problem with both puppies and children is they get older. And, you know, then as they get older, these discs effectively age. So by the age of two in a little dog or a big dog, doesn't matter, um, these discs can often harden. And the same is true of people. So by the time we reach adulthood, these discs have hardened. And the funny thing there is it means they're absolutely useless to us. So if someone could wave a wand <laughs> in these dogs once they're two and get rid of these discs, it wouldn't cause one bit of harm because they're not useful to us anymore. And actually, my feeling is they cause a lot more hindrance. Mm -hmm. um, some people say even, well, you know, if, if we're going to consider any surgery for doing this, which we'll come to in a minute, if we're ever going to operate on these dogs with slip discs, should we just go in and remove all of this hardened jam that's making them useless should we take all the jam out but um well nobody nobody likes donuts without jam so that you know we leave them there but no no in all seriousness it'll be a very big surgery to have to remove it's a lot of jam to remove yeah exactly exactly that's it. i like to make these discussions tasty you know it's important um i think as vets no, are really bad at making diseases into food processes aren't we so yeah, exactly i'll try and i'll try and limit it it could get really gruesome if i carry on with this all night <laughs> Um, so, so the way I think about this, this um, jam donut, I mean, what happens in a typical slip disc, there are three types of slip disc. One of the most common ones is probably the one we see in Dachshunds, French Bulldogs, those sort of small, what we call like dwarf breeds. They're called chondrostrophic, but effectively they're dwarf breed type dogs. Those are the two common ones we see. I mean, we all know French Bulldogs and Dachshunds are very popular at the minute, but there's a whole number like Shih Tzus, Lazarapsos, um, Basset Hounds. There's a number of dogs that can be affected with this. Now, I say that any breed can be affected by this condition. So, I mean, I, I yet to say there's a breed I'd single out as not being likely to be affected. There are breeds we're less likely to see, but, you know, even, I mean, even greyhounds and dogs like that, I have seen these sorts of problems in those mm -hmm. breeds. Now, what happens in, in disc disease is that um, dough of the donut is effectively a ligament. And so what's happening is these dogs can be undergoing some kind of exertion. They might be... Um, running, jumping. Um, for us, if we slip a disc, we might be lifting heavy weights, but actually more commonly, we'll sneeze or we'll <laughs> open the curtains and do our back in. Mm -hmm. That's far more common. And it's so true in dogs. You know, when you get owners bringing their dogs in after they've suffered a slip disc, they'll very often say, well, I don't know what did happen. Or they jumped off the sofa and they suddenly yelped. So it really doesn't have to be an obvious thing that's happened. Um, but a little tweak of the spine, you know, the bones can just slightly tear or rotate. It can cause this ligament 